morning everybody. Uh, it's a cold winter day out and I thought today I'd uh, make some chili. Um, I'm a vegetarian and I've been online uh, looking at cookbooks and looking for a good uh, chili recipe and I just could not come up with anything. I tried a couple and I really didn't care for them. So I've been uh, messing around with different ideas here and I come up with this chili uh, since I'm a vegetarian, I'm using these uh, Morning Star crumbles to take the place of hamburger. But you can use hamburger, so uh, this uh, recipe is good for uh, non vegetarians or vegetarians. I'm going to uh, read you a list of ingredients here, let you know what I'm using. Uh, one uh, medium onion, I used a whole onion in it. I've got a good sized pot there, so one large clove of garlic. I got a large clove here. Uh, one can of chili starter, uh, chili mac starter. Um, I got one can of 28 ounce chili beans, one 28 ounce chopped tomatoes, uh, and a package of crumbles, which is about 12 ounces, so close to three quarters of a pound uh, uh, hamburger if you're going to use hamburger. Um, one half. Uh, green pepper and one half red pepper. You can use a smaller one. Uh, this one is about medium sized pepper. And then red pepper. Uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. One and a half of maple sugar or maple syrup. Uh, the real maple syrup. Uh, two tablespoons of a chili powder. One tablespoon of uh, cumin. And one uh, stalk of celery. Now I already uh, chopped up the two peppers, onions, and the celery, and the garlic, and I already have them in the pot. They've been cooking in there for, oh, 15 to 20 minutes. to sort of nice and soft, ready to go. So next thing I'm going to put this crumbles in. So if you got hamburger, put your hamburger in now. You have it in there, stir it up, mix it up good. I got about two tablespoons of oil in here. I use uh, olive oil, I like that the best. Um, most of the vegetables so soaked up the oil, so I have to put in a little bit more. I'll let this hamburger and uh, the mix brown for Oh, 15 minutes or so. Mix this up right. It might seem like there's a lot of uh, red pepper and it might seem like that's a lot of onion and everything else, but it cooks down. Uh, so it's really not that much. Next thing I'm going to do is add this chili starter. This is just a, I think it's an 8 on a 10 or less. We'll put that in. Mix this up. So that should cook for a uh, good 10 minutes. I'm not going to wait around for 10 minutes. To, uh, take too long to do this video that way to let it cook. So what I'm going to do is just go through and show you how I put it and when I put it in. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is uh, I like the De Fratelli Petite Diced Tomatoes. Um, they were, it's got all natural and sea salt in it. Uh, and it, it just has a better flavor for me anyway. So I'll put the tomatoes in. After that, I'm going to put the sugar and the maple syrup in it. Let that sit. So use the juice and everything. Well, 
I'll mix that up. By the way, I'm cooking at uh, halfway between low and uh, medium. So I got on like five or six on electric stove. Now this uh, chili is going to be a thick chili. I like my chili thick. Uh, if you like it a little more soupier, you can add water to it to, or uh, tomato sauce. Next thing, oh, forgot. I'm going to put the brown sugar in and the maple syrup next. And I put a, a tablespoon of maple. This maple syrup just gives it a, a good flavor to it. Next, we'll put in, uh, we got 28 ounces of beans, uh, Bush's chili beans. So the beans already have uh, chili powder in the sauce, so that's why I only put in uh, one and a half tablespoons of uh, chili powder and one of uh, cumin. Mix this up. Now when, you, when this cooks, uh, it liquefies itself anyway, so you probably won't have to add any uh, water to it. Okay, next thing I'm going to put the chili powder in and the cumin. I'm going to just guess at it, but I, I know pretty much what it take two tablespoons. Don't want to come out. There we go. And one tablespoon of cumin. That should about do it. Mix this up. I'm going to turn the heat just a little bit up till about, you know, just a little under high just to get this going. Uh, I don't have uh, anybody to man the camera there, so what I'm going to do uh, when I get this stirred up, I'm going to take that camera over here and I'm going to show you what this looks like, give you an idea. I think you really like this. This, this is just as good as any uh, chili would meet in it. Uh, has almost the same flavor, has a consistency of uh, a good chili. Uh, we had a chili cook out here oh, not too long ago, and this chili here looks and tastes almost just like the winter. So uh, this is going to be a good vegetarian chili. And again, you can use hamburger for those that aren't vegetarians. So I'm going to take the camera now, so bear with me, it'll be a little jumpy. Give you an idea what it looks like. You can see all the beans and tomatoes, you can see some of the uh, green peppers in it, uh, chunks of crumbles. I mean, this really turned out good. I was really happy with it. I made this before, and it really looked good. It tastes excellent. I brought it to um, church potluck, and there was hardly any left. Everybody wanted some. Everybody went back for seconds. So it really turned out good. So thanks again for watching. And I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And maybe next week I'll come up with another recipe. Thanks again. Bye.